Top 10 Animals with the Weirdest Abilities Number 10. Platypus Now I'm sure everybody knows about platypi because of Perry the Platypus, but I like how everybody just ignores how strange this creature is. Because a normal person would see a platypus in the zoo and be like, aw look, it's a platypus. But when I see them, I see a duck-billed, web-footed, beaver tail having abomination that should have never been created. Not only that, they go against everything I thought I knew about mammals, because in school a mammal is a creature that gives birth to an already moving and alive creature. Hence why whales are considered mammals and not fish, but the platypus is one of the only mammals that lay eggs. Anyway, I'm sorry I went on a whole rant without saying their strangest ability, that being electrolocation, where its bill is equipped with electroreceptors allowing it to find prey and then use their poisonous spurs to catch and kill them. It's no wonder that scientists thought this creature was a hoax when it was described to them. I wouldn't believe the person that was describing the animal either. And if I was a scientist that knew nothing about the platypi's existence and saw this thing, I would jump out the nearest window to personally ask God what the hell was that. I am being completely honest when I say I can make a 5 minute video just talking about platypi and their abilities, but I guess that's just gonna have to be another discussion for a different day. Number 9. Hairy Frog The way that these frogs got their name is because the males can grow skin extensions during the breeding season to aid in oxygen absorption while guarding eggs in the water. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. That hair is not hair at all. It is skin. What if humans didn't grow hair but instead just elongated their skin? Now just think about how painful a haircut would be. Or, sorry, should I say skin cut would be. Anyway, their skin hair is not the strangest ability that these frogs possess. Because they also have the ability to break their own bones to force sharp claws through their skin, just like Hugh Jackman, hence their other name, the Wolverine Frog where they only use this ability as a final defense mechanism against predators. Now I have to say, that would be a great defense mechanism for humans, because imagine getting in a fight with a guy and he breaks his own arm, shanking you with his newly acquired bone pike. But it's only a great defense mechanism for humans because we have doctors. One visit to the doctor and boom, you're patched up and ready to go to prison. But frogs, as you probably could already guess, don't have doctors, and having a broken bone in the wild most likely means you're already dead. So I'd just like to think that the hairy frog is just one more of God's impractical jokes on the animal kingdom. Number 8. Lyrebird The lyrebird is known for its extraordinary vocal mimicry. Now you may be like, okay, what's so special about that? Parrots do the same thing, and how's that weirder than electrolocation or bone claws? And I will tell you why. Because the lyrebird doesn't just mimic human voices like a lame parrot, they can mimic anything. They have been heard mimicking a wide range of natural and artificial sounds, including chainsaws, car alarms, and other birds, primarily to attract mates. I can imagine lyrebirds are like, I bet your ex couldn't make this sound. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got but the real reason I put this ability at the number 8 spot is for the simple fact that a person can teach a lyrebird how to roar like a T-Rex. Where the most astonishing thing about this creature is, being that nobody has tried it yet. Number 7. Pistol Shrimp Pistol shrimps or snapping shrimps are small to medium sized marine creatures known for their powerful snapping claws. Which can create a bubble that produces a shock wave and a noise louder than a gunshot, giving them their name. This ability is a result of them rapidly closing their claws, which can momentarily generate temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. To put this into perspective, if a human had this ability, they would be able to clap tanks out of existence and singe anything in the surrounding area. They gained this ability in order to stun prey, defend against predators, and get this, communicate. They are using a One Punch Man serious series level attack to send Morse code to each other. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there, but this shrimp looks like me after the pandemic happened, or when Quagmire found out about internet adult rated websites. Number 6. Electric Eel Again, I think that the electric eel is just another one of those animals that we overlook just because we have known about them for our whole lives. But ignoring that fact, the electric eel is straight up just a Pokemon where they are able to produce up to 600 volts of electric shocks. Despite its name, it's not a true eel, but a type of knifefish that uses specialized electrolytes within three main electric organs to produce both high voltage discharges for hunting and defense, as well as low voltage pulses for electrolocation and communication. And they can also grow up to 9 feet long, meaning that they are only about half the size of your mother's favorite toys. 
I can see how ancient people made all of these mythical and legendary beasts now, they just didn't have the words yet to describe 9 foot long electric demon phallus. Number 5. Immortal Jellyfish Yes, you heard me right, there is, in theory, a creature that can literally live forever. The immortal jellyfish is a small translucent jellyfish known for its extraordinary ability to revert from its adult medusa stage back to its juvenile polyp stage through a process called transdifferentiation, effectively allowing it to bypass death from old age. It can also reproduce asexually, meaning that it can shadow clone, while not truly immortal since they are still able to die due to disease, predation, and a knife to the head. If everything goes right for the jellyfish, they can in theory live until the planet, solar system, and universe die out. But with their old age, that means there are a few of them out there that lived through every possible tragedy that the planet had to offer and did absolutely nothing about it. Maybe they do deserve the incurable curse that is immortality, wallowing in their own sadness as those they love died to disease, predators, and environmental changes, only getting the sweet relief of death after outside forces declare them worthy of dying. Number 4. Mantis Shrimp The Mantis Shrimp is known for having two very interesting and impressive special abilities, one of which being their compound eyes. Having up to 16 color receptors, they have the ability to perceive polarized light and trinocular vision for depth perception. To put it in perspective, we only have three color receptors, meaning they can see colors we can't even conceive. And as most of us know, their second ability is their powerful punches, where mantis shrimp possess specialized appendages that either smash or spear prey with incredible speed and force. Where they can deliver strikes so powerful they can crack shells or even aquarium glass, and not only that, they achieve their power and speed underwater. Have you ever punched underwater? It makes it so that your punches are about the speed of smell and feel like a kitty pop. Like, imagine one day you walk into your room to feed your colorful pet shrimp, but all you can find is that the tank has been shattered and the next thing you know the mantis shrimp is right next to your shin, and proceeds to make it look like you had one of those fighting videos from Instagram Reels happen to you in real life. Number 3. Bombardier Beetle We have yet another Pokemon on our hands, but this Pokemon is a poison bug Pokemon. I know this because they got the name Bombardier Beetle for their ability to splooge a hot and toxic chemical spray onto anything it deems a threat, and that really sucks because just like a Mortal Kombat noob, they like to spam. Their spray produced through a chemical reaction involving hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide can reach temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit, where it is used to deter predators with its toxicity, heat, and loud popping sounds. At this point, I don't think it would be too hard to convince me that dragons actually did exist, because if we have animals that can cause an electric shock or a bug that can literally ejaculate a hot toxic piss missile, then I don't think there aren't any lines that mother nature wouldn't cross. Number 2. Axolotl Everybody loves axolotls for how cute they are with their tiny bodies, big heads, and soulless smiles, but you know what isn't cute about them? What isn't cute is their abnormal regenerative abilities. Yeah, growing back a tail is pretty cool, but any lame lizard can do that. The axolotl, on the other hand, can regenerate entire limbs, spinal cord segments, heart tissue, and even parts of their brain. If humans had this ability, let's just say Dr. House wouldn't be a show, since doctors would just be seen as street bums that know a little bit more about anatomy than the next guy. Hey, did you know if you get a cut, you should disinfect it and- Oh, would you please shut up? If I get a paper cut, I'll just slice the old arm off and wait a week for a new one. Gosh, I don't even know why you got your doctorates. Your degree is almost as useful as having a degree in lesbian dance theory. The axolotl's abilities are so impressive that scientists continue to study axolotls to uncover the genetic and cellular mechanisms behind their regenerative capabilities, where they hope to find insights into human medicine and regenerative therapies. Number 1. Tardigrade You knew it was gonna be here, I knew it was gonna be here, everybody knew it was going to be here, alright? Also known as water bear moss pig, tardigrades are probably the coolest animals in the most useless of ways. Measuring between 0.3 to 1.5 millimeters in length, meaning you can see them with the naked eye, they possess a segmented body with 8 legs ending in claws or suction discs. Tardigrades can inhabit a wide range of environments, from the deepest of oceans to the highest of mountains, and can survive extreme conditions through cryptobiosis, where they lose almost all their water content and endure temperatures from near absolute zero to over 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius. You know radiation, dehydration, and high pressure? Yeah, well, that all just bounces right off of these creatures, where they have been known for being able to survive the vacuum and radiation of outer space. 
But you know what doesn't bounce right off of them? Claws from other tardigrades when a bigger and more aggressive species of tardigrade comes along. Then, and only then, do tardigrades have no solution. See what I mean by coolest at being the dumbest creature alive? They are prepared for everything except the thing that kills them the most. Think about it like this. Instead of a caveman getting ready for a bear wolf pack attack, he instead hunkers down for the nuclear apocalypse. I hope this video taught some of you about the boundless nature of the animal kingdom and to never doubt what crazy sh** it can do. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it, and if you did, please like and subscribe, Poppy, and I'll see you in another episode. <laughs>